Hi, my tubies and my beautiful Talatobies. It's Sheila True Love here with you, my darling. And today I want to talk about sexless marriages. Tell me, does a sexless marriage, in your opinion, justify cheating or infidelity? I'm sitting here with the ladies around the table. And we are talking about this, and right now we are focusing on a sexless marriage. Let's listen to what the ladies have to say. Talk about something. I was reading in Oprah magazine that there was a question posed about can a sex a sexless marriage survive? Now they're saying that um, a general survey says that most married couples, on average, have sex fifty-eight times a year. That's a little more than once a week. Fifty-eight times a year. Yeah. Okay. Fifty-eight times a year. Fifty-eight times a year. This is what most marriage couples. Uh, that's how often they have sex, according to what these folks say. Personally, me, I think well, I'm not. I, you know, with me, with sex, I could take it or I could leave it, one way or the other. Really, uh, do I think that uh, sexless marriage justified cheating? Or infidelity. You know how I do. I always believe in what the Bible says. You know, marriage is supposed to be forever. At the same time, the Bible gives you two grounds for divorce. And that's adultery and abandonment. And what a lot of people don't understand is that when you are reading the Bible, the Bible is written originally in Greek and Hebrew. Now, when you, trans when you translate abandonment, a lot of people think that means it means for this person to pick up and leave or to go. But there is more than one way to abandon your partner. You can abandon your husbandly duties. You can abandon your wifely duties. That's still a form of abandonment. And when it comes to that, the Bible clearly says you have grounds for a divorce. Because as we know, the Bible clearly says, of course, that a man's body no longer belongs to him, nor does a woman's body belong to her when it comes to the sexual, uh, the sexual thing. You know, what I mean? <laughs> sorry. You know, and it says you must not deprive each other of it. But we know that there are times when people have health issues and things like this happen, and of course, all of those things are to be taken into consideration. Personally, me, I would never leave my partner just because they uh, they can't have sex anymore. Because like I said, I could take it or leave it. I have my friend Bob in my nightstand anyway. So she is always going to be taken care of. Trust and believe. Uh, at least once a week. You know, I take care of myself. I handle my business. That's why I'm such a happy, pleasant person all the time. Isn't that what it's all about? Orgasms? I mean, I think about people who are married. A lot of the women, all they get is a wet behind. And nothing else. And then they wonder, husbands wonder why the wife is not so gung-ho for the sex part because, first of all, she ain't getting much out of it. I've never, I don't know of any men who have ever let, left the bedroom unfulfilled. Okay, let's just keep it like that. But getting back with the ladies, let's see can a sexless marriage survive according to these women. Eight times a year out of 364 days? Yeah, that, yeah. I'm not understanding Six, that. That's an average. That's the way my average. numbers work. <laughs> But a sexless Weird. marriage could be no marriage or anything that's less than 10 uh, times a year. What? No. Wait, say that less again. Than, say that again. Sex less than 10 times a year? Yeah. A sexless ma marriage is considered no sex at all or less than 10 times a year. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. Joe, so you're basically considered a sexless marriage if you're having less right. than 10 that's times a year. That's a April Fool's joke. I got married and I'm not getting no sex. Right. So I'm posing the right. question. That's fine. Can a sexless marriage survive? What do you guys think? No. I have an opinion, but no. what do you think? No. I'm, I'm with the audience. I mean, I couldn't do it no. personally, but there are maybe different reasons why people are well, having a sexless marriage. It could be medical reasons. Hell. I get it. Medical Maybe reasons. when people get older, you know, their libido goes like this. I hope mine doesn't. I don't want that. So how many times a year do you get it out? <laughs> I, I can't do the math, but it's definitely, it's definitely more than, well, let me see. A talk week? slow, talk slow. Shut up, Lonnie. It's on a good week. It's like four times a week. What? And I will say with two kids, 
And if we're not getting it at all, uh-huh. my husband and I look at each other like, oh, ho, ho, we, we got to release some of this. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. And we do. Tension okay. in the house, and it's okay, great. Adrian. I love sex. Yes. I <laughs> don't believe that there is such thing as a sexless marriage. Yeah, you ain't answering my question. How many times you do it? If a we week. are to, on, honestly, honestly, I, I like to have sex twice a day. That's just me. What? If my husband oh, what? Twice a day? <laughs> you know who was like that? My children's father. Oh, that man could go. I haven't met a man who could keep up with that man yet. And he was the best lover I ever had. To this day, I still remember him. And he has outdone every single dude I've experienced sexually. Nobody can match Mr. I don't want to say his name, but he knows. He's, no, no, nobody can't match that because his sex, his, 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 his lovemaking was not just physical, but it was also spiritual combined. Yeah, I could have had sex with him like three, four times a day because he was that type of man. I haven't met a man to this day who could match that kid. Uh, he got them all beat. <laughs> Trust me. If my husband, yes, if my husband is around, I wake up in the morning, good morning, I have sex, I go to work. I come home from work, I, I cuddle, I cuddle, I watch TV. I might have sex earlier in the evening if we yeah. feel like it. Or I just is like it all getting away or you, you Oh know. my gosh. What do you mean? Like a little bit? What do you mean? Like there is sexual activity happening every single day in my in my marriage. Oh. Whatever that is, yeah. there is some kind of intimacy. All right, I happening. got your answer, Jeannie. <laughs> no, how I many wanna, times you do it? So I want to say this. I, I, I don't think that you have to have sex in a marriage to guarantee happiness. So how many times I, a week you do it? Well. Like two, three. I think that right. Honestly, four. my focus right now. Honestly, she's not answering. answering. No, I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer. But I do think that it's so important to be intimate in relationships yeah. and I know a lot of couples who have sex that doesn't mean that they're connected or they're happy and I do think that in marriage for me my goal at the end of my husband's time if I were to get married uh -huh. would be to make sure that I nurture and water his soul and make sure that he feels full in that regard if I can't have sex with him do you agree I hear you girl I feel y'all yeah I, I like that I like that I don't think that sex guarantees happiness in a marriage or what have you. And like I said, I could take it or I can leave it either way. You know, at this point in my life, at this stage of the game, like I said, I, I sex once a week. That's fine for me. That's how I that's how often I take care of myself. But that's me personally. Now, if I was with a partner, uh, whatever, once a month, I don't care. Once every two weeks, that would suffice for me. You know, if, if he don't want to have sex, I don't know. As long as we have that intimacy, that hugging, you know, at night, I'm not even all, you know, to all of that, like touchy, touchy, all that crap. But uh, yeah, because that's not my love language. Some people's love language is uh, touch, physical touch. My love language with, with a man, it's acts of service and gifts. When it's with my children, it's quality time spent with me and acts of service with my children. That's how they show me and make me feel loved. Uh, when it comes to my friends, my love language is acts of service. Absolutely, acts of service. If I need something, if I need to move, if I need help with this, and my friends are like right on point, that makes me feel loved by my friends. And when my friends call me on a regular basis, texting me, emailing me, whatever, it always lets me know that someone is out there thinking about me. So I feel really loved when it comes to that. At the same time, I agree with this female here. It's not just about the physical act. It's the uh, spiritual thing going on, the intimacy, the closeness, the kissing, the holding hands. That That's cute. You know what I'm saying? That'll work. That if his soul is nurtured, his penis is going yes. to want you. <laughs> yes, but I'm just saying, I, I just I think one is equals amazing. the second yes. part. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm looking at like the medical things of it too. And okay. Some people Let's don't have the libido. medical side out. But that's a big thing though. Some people don't have the same libido. And also some yeah. people, they don't, Some I know a lot of marriages who have been married now like 50. Years. I actually want, yeah. I, yeah, I know a marriage like this too. And like they, they just they're don't like two have birds. it. And they're, and they're young. Just, yes. No, I swear. They like don't. how? Like in the. Uh, I think it somebody's gonna away. tap out. I'm yeah. sorry to say it. Somebody's um, gonna tap out. Really? I, I, they find ways to connect. That's what. Okay. That's what, that what you and me find ways to connect too. And you could be super close with somebody, and you could have an incredible relationship with that person. The only thing that separates 
a great relationship and a great friendship to make it a romantic relationship is the intimate is a sexual intimacy, y'all. Sexual, sexual intimacy. Which one do you say, intercourse or intimacy? That's different. It's sexual intimacy, a okay, romantic yes, I agree with that. sexual intimacy. You, you, I'm not saying you have to actually go inside. Nobody's what's saying the that. Difference? What's difference? What I'm what's saying what's is. There has to be an expression of sexual intimacy. Yes. And not uh, to mention... What is it? What, describe what the... Mm. I mean, there's definitely levels of sexual intimacy. There's, yes. Let's, let's just be really honest. It's I don't know if it's masturbation, if it's... So, there has How to about be... This? That, and also, if you've been in a marriage for a long time, I've had some of the most amazing sexual experiences without intercourse just having to do with tantric sex. And that, my friends, is a whole... Wait, tantric. explain yeah, tantric I agree with that. that. Whoa, what is tantric? Oh, I remember talking about something with tantric. I saw it. I was looking at it on YouTube, tantric, and how you got to use your hands and, and rotate this and massage that. And Oh, yes. Okay, that might work. Okay. Is a different type of connection where you make sure all of your chakras... Talk slow. Talk slow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What's going on? It, so tantric sex is when you connect your mind, your energy, your pains, and your hurt so that the connection is actually more healing than it is orgasmic. And that will blow your mind. Wow. But, but, what? but I want to, I love what you're saying. You talk about the physical. Does it end in an orgasm? It doesn't always have to, and it's even better. But this is the thing. There are people who are very sensual. You and I are very sensual. Yeah. We've talked about this. Yeah. I know for what me, about me? You I ask need me it. How many no, times yeah. I have like, What do you yeah. mean? We're not like. Ain't nobody over here. No. No. I'm just. I'm not I, just no, I require that. that. I require I'm that. I'm not saying that to say you're not. So I'm not. just explaining why we or whoever is very sensual wants it in yeah. their relationship. Yeah. For me. I need it. I waited a very long time to do it, so yeah. I want to do it as much as I possibly can. And that's how you express me. And I that's, hope I'm doing it till I'm 90. That's how I feel people, connected. There are some people who don't, and they're okay with that. I'm not going to judge that, though. I'm not going to judge people who are okay with not having sex. It becomes an issue if you're married to someone that is sensual, and then yes. you're married to a person who's okay. not. Or, I, or it makes a difference that disconnect. if you're refusing to please that person or yes. find their needs to help fulfill it in some way. Because that, that is our duty when you marry. That's the question of libido that I'm concerned about is I, I think it's kind of unfair if, God forbid, you do have a medical issue where you don't have a libido, which we, we're not saying that you where you can't perform is I what I'm trying to say. Because yeah. I haven't said anything. Okay, okay. Lonnie. First of all, sex is not an act. Wait, wait, no, 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 take that back. <laughs> sex. <laughs> wait, what? Take sex off. is an act, not an emotion. Okay. That's true. So you have yes. to remember that. Yes. And just yes. because you're not having sex doesn't mean you're not happily married. Okay. Yes. Especially older people. At some point, they feel like sex is not necessarily necessary. You know. And it's about a partnership and not sexual connection all the time. I hear that. Old, and time. Young. And we're no. young. But wait till you get 60. I, my mother is in her 60s and she really begs to differ with what you're saying. But it's a different time. Wow, her mother's in her 60s and still going at it. Buck wow. Type of person. No, what, I, no person. what I'm saying is. I just don't want us telling people. Because yeah. somebody, somebody out there that may be in a great relationship and they feel good and maybe they're not in. I don't want them to think that something is I will say the wrong couple that are talking about, not a relationship, in a marriage, in a marriage. They are they're married. married. So mine. Yes, so Adrian, they're married, and they are, are really So happy. both of them don't require sex. Wait, so wait, that's the that's key. I'm agreeing with her. What did you say? I, I have four couples of friends that have been married 30, 48, and then one I actually had my podcast married 25 years and not having sex, but connect on a, on a superbly intimate way for their own personal reasons. But I want to say this. I agree with you. There has to be some type of intimate connection. And it doesn't can. always have to be the act of sex. But And I understand what she says. She knows couples who have been married for that uh, long period of time and not having sex. But I, I'm a firm believer when it comes to a man not having sex, honey, trust me when I tell you, if a man is not eating at home, I'll bet my rent money. He's definitely eating someplace else. He has some side piece or two side pieces that he's seeing on a regular basis. Uh, when it comes to a female, I, I don't know. Maybe she's got the same way. But I know for sure men with their testosterone levels and all of that other stuff, you know, uh, yeah, that, that's just not the norm. When a man is not eating at home, he has some prostitute who's, who's getting his penis wet in one way or another, 
Maybe he's too ashamed because he has erectile dysfunction, but you'll find these prostitutes or these side pieces who are willing to, you know, wet their flaccid or suck on their flaccid penis, and they're too ashamed to show that kind of side to their wives. So they have this side piece or this prostitute or this, I don't know, uh, mistress on the side who's willing to suck on this flaccid whatever, and um, he don't care about what she thinks of him, but he does care about what his wife thinks of him. So that's pretty much why he <clears throat> he is, I don't know, he won't bring that kind of thing to his wife, even though he, he'll be surprised because his wife could understand. You know what I'm saying? You're married, and, and once you're married, you're supposed to, you know, work through this. And like if a man's penis, like I was talking to one of my uh, clients on the phone. I always have my clients. She said her husband had a savage tongue. His tongue was ferocious. So where his penis was lacking, his tongue was so savage. Woo! There has to be some type of romantic but intimacy. Who do you share that with then if it's not your husband? You should, no, it yeah. is your husband. But it's, huh? it's a different thing. If you have a desire, who do you desire. share that with? If it's not your spouse. No, you have to do that with your spouse, but it has to be some type of a level. Well, that it just has to be just physical sex, though, is what we're okay, saying. What right. if you desire physical sex and your spouse does not? So that's what I'm saying. If the person's refusing and that other person then you're not meet, fit for each then that's other. not right. fit for each other. Okay, that's so you're saying. telling me that there are people who do not want to have physical sex or at cannot. all. No, yeah. they're or just, cannot. Or just fine with well, not. That's what and they I may saying. be asexual. You know yeah. what I mean? They, they, you know what asexual means. No, yeah. I do. I do know what that means. Right. My, my, my only question is, even if it is medical, to not try to find an answer or a... Uh, you get what I'm saying? But being resistant, is wrong. Being that resistant. is not okay. That's no, out there of is equation. something wrong if you have a medical problem and you can't no, do no, it. No, 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 no. There are some people that have, they have an agreement and they're in a marriage and they're like, this is going to be our marriage. Some people feel like I done had my dude. Yeah. Adrian you know loves sex so much. No, yeah. it's not about that. Like, uh, uh, no, I just feel like, like, you no, I no. genuinely just no. feel like, and we're, we're being very honest yeah, here, and right. I want to be blunt and honest because I know people might be thinking this, but it is very, very rare that you find two people who say, I'm marrying you, you're marrying me. I do not have no, any no, intention no, they, they of may, having no, sex with no. you. Adrian, no, you're taking it to the extreme. No. She just so told you. There well, could be a medical issue there. And my thing is, no, are they seeking? No. It's not always that, though. Sometimes, okay, let's say right now, you guys are fresh, young. You guys are, what's that called? What's that word called? Spry. You guys are spry right now. Okay. So you're having sex and you're healthy. But sometimes, like rabbits. Right. And sometimes life might shift things where all of a sudden, the man's ability to perform might change because he's going through things, depression, pressures, something might happen. You might lose. That could get old, too. And all I'm saying is there's different levels to intimacy and romance right. that doesn't always rely on just Let them lie. Yes. 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 I said I agree with that. I, I'm literally saying I agree with that. It doesn't always need to be that. My husband right now is in South Africa. I'm not having sex every day. Guess what, guys? I'm surviving and I'm here doing my job. Like, I don't want to no. take it that extreme. Like, I get that point. What I'm saying is for someone to say that they no longer want to have sex with you, that they no longer want to have sex with that person, is it that it's boring with that person? Is that's it that different. you don't connect anymore that's with that different. person? Different. Our main yeah, question different. was, do you need to have sex to be in can a, a happy sex marriage? Can a sexless survive? I don't so think long term that it can. Well, you I don't believe that, you think they will go outside. Term, of I think at the some point, if there is absolutely, I think I agree with her. Do I think that a sexless marriage can survive? Yeah, it can survive, but uh, it, somebody is. Yeah, but they're cheating. Somebody's cheating and stepping out. You know, uh, uh, there's there's a couple of folks that I've spoken to, and and they've been together for like seventeen, twenty, or whatever the hell, and they have an agreement where you know we get to sleep with whoever the hell we want to. As long as we don't bring it home, you know, when we're together, we're together. Um, but we, 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 you know, we, we get to sleep with other people on the side. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do I, do, do I think a sexless marriage can survive? Sure. It can survive, but is, will it survive? And both people are faithful to each other. Both people are sexless. They're not stepping out on each other. Do I think that's possible? Do I think that's real? Uh, not really. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Unless, of course, both people have medical issues. And, and, and even if a man has medical issue, he just goes to get a prostitute because he don't care what she thinks as long as he's getting his penis wet, like I said previously. 
But uh, uh, maybe even the woman can go out there and make this happen. I don't know. But um, no, I, I don't think that it's going to be a, a, a sexless. Uh, they could be together, but just because people live together in the same house, that don't mean that it's like a real marriage. Not really. Some people are just together because they can't afford to live separately. They're together because the, 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 somebody has health, serious health issues. Uh, they're together because they're terrified, terrified to have to fly solo. Uh, thank God I've never been that afraid in my life. Um, other people are together, stay together for every reason except for loving each other. We're not together because we're in love, like a romantic love, like a man loves a woman. That's no longer here, hon. That's just done. But we're together, I guess, for survival. Some people, you know, it's for different reasons. Everything but love, you know, which is sad. But anyway. No sexual activity for years and years and years. I okay. actually Adrian, believe that Adrian, they will go outside their Adrian, marriage. You're not wrong in that thinking. I think in any marriage, if you don't have matched expectations, yes. person is going to go somewhere yes. else anyway yes. to go yes. first. But I do have right. one right. important That's what question, yeah. though. Can I ask one important question? Yeah. Oh. It's for Lonnie, because you didn't answer this question. Right? Right. Right. Yeah. 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 How many times a week do you have sex? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lonnie. Oh, Lonnie. No, no. It's Come daytime, on. Lonnie. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, kids. Don't do this at home. <laughs> I, now when I was single. Uh-huh. Did you have more sex? No, I had less sex. Okay. I, I, but as I got older, I started having less sex. But okay. when I was like your age and young, ooh, look. Oh, Lonnie, oh. answer the question. Yeah, but Lonnie. But now that I'm in a relationship, yeah. it's a healthy relationship, mm -hmm. I would say we do it about twice a week. Okay. Hey. You know, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. cool. I, I think that's healthy. I also want to put this out there. Because, yeah. Tam, I had to come to you and be like, yo, I'm tired. Yeah, that's... I think twice a week is, is, is healthy, you know, for, for any marriage. I think twice a week is cool. You know, and as you get up there in age or as you are longer and longer, you, you know, you're with each other for long periods of time. Once a week is cute. Once every two weeks is even cute. That works. Just make sure that you have. I believe that you should have date night. Uh, at least once every two weeks. You know, every two weeks you should have some people do it every week. You have date night. That's when the woman, she finally gets a chance to get all dialed up and look all glamorous and all beautiful. And hubby, he takes her out to dinner or wherever the hell she wants to go, to a concert, to an opera, to a play. And they have, well, she, she takes him to the basketball game. She got tickets. She's surprising him. She got tickets to the basketball, the baseball, and she's surprising him, taking him to one of his, you know, fish, I don't know, a fishing place. I, I don't know, whatever men do. <laughs> they like to go to sporting events and, um, <clears throat> Uh, a game, uh, nights out with billards. We take him out for billards and um, where he don't have, uh, whatever the hell, you know, surprise the dude. You know your husband, you know what he likes. So you always have to have date night every two weeks. And when you have great sex, when you do have sex, make it mind blowing. Make it spectacular. Realizing that I don't have to do this again. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> At least I don't have to do this again for the next two weeks. So if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to do it up. Anyway, let's get back. <laughs> Once every two weeks to me, it's cool. Yeah, all right. And, totally and, totally and there is other intimacy that I have experienced yeah. where falling asleep naked, holding each other, kissing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or that's what we were talking about. Yes. Yes. I, have, I have moments like that. I'm talking about. She still, she won't let I'm it just, go. No, because, because <laughs> I have. Are, I, I think the key sex is. And they're married. Yes. I think the key is what Jeannie just said. It, it's what you expect. Yes. If I expected that we are going to have sex and you okay, know this about me, I feel that would low key be unfair. But that's just me. So are you saying you'd let um, Israel go to the wolves? I, and I get wouldn't it prefer on? that, but if this doesn't work, I hope something else does. Let me see what she I, said. I Let me say there's a medical a issue. A lot of marriages are like that. With me. Wait, 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 Let's wait. I miss it. Me and I know this about you. Now, at any point, if one of us changes our mind, and it is not for a medical reason, because if tomorrow my husband suddenly couldn't have sex with me, I'm going to live and I'm going to love him. Okay. And that's a medical issue, and we're going to work through it, and we're going to figure yeah. it out. That, like, let's, then you not just, be, let's not be ridiculous, but 
But if you decided all of a sudden to tap but out and say, I don't want to anymore, and he's like, I've got Let's me. Let's say there's a medical a issue. A lot of marriages are like that. With me. Let's say there's a medical issue with me. And let's say that medical issue can't be cured within a year. Let's say it's now two years, three years, four years. Uh-oh. That's just me. I feel that would low-key be unfair, but that's just me. So are you saying you'd let um, Israel go to the wolves? I, I wouldn't prefer on? that, but if this doesn't work, I hope something else does. Oh. But this I wouldn't, but again, again that's, that's what I mean. I'm going to challenge people here. Just because I do think we live in a very sexual environment that always promotes to have sex, every song you listen to, every commercial, it just, it's you always about that. course. So I just, for, for intercourse, yeah. So I just, I challenge people that if you're in a serious relationship with somebody who would like to tap into a deeper part of their mind and would like to learn another side of you and how to stroke hey, certain hey, sides hey, of you, hey, um, yeah. you know that, uh. try tantric sex. Get to know your person. Okay, let's do tantric, everybody. We're all into tantric. Okay, I'm willing to give it a shot. This is going to get into a deeper self. We're going to get deeper and deeper into ourselves and deeper and deeper into each other. Okay, this is a whole new experience, and that's what life is about, being happy, new experiences. Yes, tantric for everyone. Yay. Now, how do I feel if I wasn't able to have sex anymore? Let's say I have problems with my... Uh, endometriosis or I have female problems, my womb has dropped or whatever the hell I may be going through, would I uh, think it would be okay for my husband to step out? No. Because if he has erectile dysfunction, prostate issues and all kind of craziness where he done lost his erection, even pills, a pump, dick rings, injections, nothing works, would I step out on him? No. They have way too many toys for you to handle your business they even have some amazing toys for men now. They have these vaginas that you could just, they, they look like, just go on Amazon. New sex toys for men. Go on, go on uh, 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 YouTube. Type in new sex toys for men. There's no reason for him to step out. He's, he's going to make sure that, what, what does he need to do? He needs to release his tension. Yeah, okay, one, your hands ain't broke, number one. Number two, when you get tired of your hands, you got so many different toys out here now. So no, I'm not going to excuse you and permit you to uh, uh, make this marriage, cheapen the marriage and make it filthy and disgusting. No. We, we said this is for better or worse and, and, you know, for good times through bad times, you know, we're not, you don't thin out when things get too thick. We're supposed to be with each other through thick and thin. So let me get them toys for you. Okay, I'll buy them for you. You see how good I am? See how nice I am? Yeah. I expect for you to buy my toys too. And that's just my take on it. So when it comes to does a sexless marriage justify cheating or infidelity? Absolutely not. That's my take on it. This is Sheila True Love. Truly loving you always. Until next time, goodbye for now. I just made the most incredible pork chops smothered in gravies, hot, I mean onions and green peppers. I can hardly wait. Talk to you later, guys. Bye for now.